you drive through life with your heart, great things will happen. These kids could never think about playing a game of baseball. You know, we make them feel like a major leaguer. And it's beyond baseball. It's beyond the softball. It's a place where they can come and feel important. It all started, really, I was watching an HBO special, and they did a story on a little girl outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Her name was Lauren, and uh, she had brittle bone disease. She would hand her mommy the paperwork to play softball, and her mother would have to say, Lauren, you, you, you can't play softball. So the townspeople there got a simple idea to build a ball field out of rubber, and they called it the Miracle League, and I saw it, and I thought, wow. Dad was a very emotional guy, and I'm the same way and I just remember both of us tearing up and kind of looking at each other like we're gonna, we're gonna get this done so that's just kind of how it all started. I've always had a passion and could identify with those that had special needs and uh, it's been a passion of mine for quite some time and I would estimate two million dollars of this facility is in donated labor and materials. It touches people's hearts, and I think that's why people are so happy to give and contribute and support. We get back more than, than we give. You know, it's, it's indescribable, really. Parents come up to us, and grandparents come up to us, and they get emotional, you know. One of the first weeks we were here, I walked up behind the home plate, and there was an elderly gentleman sitting in his chair, and. Uh, he was crying and uh, I walked over to him and asked him if everything was okay. And uh, he got up uh, out of his chair and he put his arms around me and he was crying and he said, I never thought that I'd see my grandchild doing what he's doing. We're thrilled in that we can tell folks that contribute that everything that they contribute goes back towards creating and sustaining uh, experiences for our children, truly unbelievable. You don't need to have a last name like Nuxall to make a difference in your community. You know, Dad was a totally egoless person. He knew how fortunate he was to first have the talent to play in the major leagues, but it, he really used that platform for good. He spent his life giving back, and that was his way of saying thank you, and I think that's what endeared him to the, to the people of greater Cincinnati. Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, always a big wow uh, this evening. Thank you all. One of the uh, hardest things about this work is thanking everyone. It's so overwhelming because there are so many people. And uh, one of the things that keeps me up at night it wakes me up early is forgetting forgetting someone it's so hard to thank so and so and so and so because there's 35 other people but just please understand that there is no one more grateful than myself and our board of directors for what this community has done you know i, I come and see dad looking over the fields every day when i come down here and my gosh how proud he would be of his community for me uh being retired I couldn't have not written a better chapter for my part of life now than doing this. Their smiles, hugs, embraces uh, is worth everything to me. What would have given Dad the most joy are the smiles. Uh, he had a big smile himself and uh, he would have loved seeing that same smile and those kids as they were rounding third and heading for home at the Joe Nuxall Miracle League.